Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with the second video. And today's topic is gonna be big facts. Your enemies are moving cautiously. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, big facts. Your enemies are moving cautiously. Family. When people are moving cautiously around you, it's because they recognize you as the giant and the genius that you are. And I need y'all to realize something. Those who are moving cautious, they are notified and they are aware of what you are capable of. And so they like little roaches, family. Right, they like little beetles, little bugs that you see in the dirt. They don't want to get stepped on, right? They don't want to be smashed. This is the individual that you are, okay? Not only that, y'all, but you move strategic, you lead with logic and not with emotion. So, it's going to cause them to move cautiously. Now, I also want to say this, y'all. A cautious individual is also a cowardly individual. Yep, I'm going to say it, y'all. A cautious individual is also a cowardly individual. Did you know that most people behind the trigger of a gun are only committing that crime because they are afraid? Afraid of what that person going to do to them? Afraid of what that person going to say about them? Afraid of who that person is? They are afraid of who that person's uh, connected to? Whatever the case is, Right? This is why I love when Kendrick Lamar says that the one in front of the gun lives forever. This is why Nipsey Hussle lived forever, right? We still see his face on shirts. We still see his face on posters. People still talk about him. Tupac, face on shirts, posters. People still talk about him, okay? And they talk about this man like he's still living, right? You know, and even when you talk on the spiritual level, Jesus Christ, they killed him. But we still talk about him. And he died for our salvation. Right? So we still technically need Jesus. But the point is, y'all, they are moving cautiously because they know what you are capable of. They're trying to be careful with you. Right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, be careful. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, be careful. All right? Now, listen, y'all, we're going to go ahead and dive into this. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, but y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Ones. Number one, they know how dangerous you are. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my Chosen Ones in the back. Listen, family, they know how dangerous you are see what makes you dangerous is the person that you are internally okay your confidence your willpower your ambition okay the fact that you are courageous you are brave see they know how dangerous you are so they are moving around you because they know they can't move through you it's almost like looking at a brick wall family you see that brick wall, you know it's not even an option to knock it down. Unless you got some type of power driver or some type of, you know, uh, electrical uh, vehicle. Or y'all know what I'm talking about. Like a tractor or whatever the case is. But other than that, the average human being, matter of fact, the any human being is not about to break down a brick wall. You understand how dangerous it can be. If you run into it, that's a splat. Okay, you're going to fall back. And if not, you're going to hurt yourself and possibly kill yourself. Reno, what are you saying right now? You are that brick wall. They understand how dangerous you are. So they are not even going to attempt to go through you. So their only option is to move cautiously around you. See, when you think of gazelles in the jungle, even hyenas, right? When they're not walking uh, and, and running inside of a pack. You know, um, gazelles, warhawks. Why do you think they move so cautious? <laughs> you think they move in cautious for the lion's safety? No, they move in cautious for their own safety. They can be eaten. 
See, the difference between you and them is you are considered to be a predator and they are a prey. Now, when I say a predator, I don't mean this in a bad way because we are sincerely God's sheep, right? But I like to tell people the best way to survive in this world is to be, um, I, I want to say this, y'all. You want to actually be a sheep, but you want to have wolf clothing, right? So you want to be a sheep, but you want to be in wolf clothing. So a person don't, so a person know not to mess with you. A person know not to try you. A person know that you're not weak, right? Like you can still have a good heart internally, but on the outside, Oh, you got to let them know I'm dangerous. You got to show them I'm nothing to play with. You got to let them know that this is not what you want. <laughs> Somebody drop in the comments and say, this ain't what you want. And you can spell it however you want to spell it. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, this ain't what you want. All right? But understand something. The reason why your enemies are moving cautiously is because they know how dangerous you are. They know how strategic you're moving. They know how much intelligence you have. So they have to move cautiously. No sudden movements. No sudden sounds. Okay, y'all ever seen the movie Don't Breathe? You know, where they had the white man in there kicking butt. I'm talking about it was the guys who was trying to rob him, but they didn't know how savvy my brother was. They didn't know that he was, I think he was an ex-Marine or some. He fought in the service or, some, or something like that, but he was a trained combat fighter, and he understood what everything was in his home. And when the... Um, the shooters came in They couldn't make no sudden moves That's why the movie is called Don't Breathe See family when people come around you They can't breathe You already know what they're going to do before they do it Because God has already showed you the vision You have the ability to foresee This is what makes you dangerous So yeah y'all Big facts Your enemies are moving cautiously Because they don't want to be caught but unfortunately, y'all, they have already been caught. Somebody drop in the comments and say caught. All right. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say caught because nothing can go past you. All right. You are connected to the divine being. Next one, y'all. Number two, the power of your voice. Okay. The power of your voice. You know, y'all, having a voice is everything. Right. This is the difference of people knowing the truth and people being fed false reality. Right. That's why on my page, y'all, on all my social media accounts, I'm going to always spread truth. I'm going to always spread, you know, positivity and I'm going to always spread the gospel, y'all, because I feel like the truth is the light. Right. Light is truth. And many people understand the power of your voice. See, when you speak, millions will hear it. When you speak, thousands will hear it. When you speak, hundreds will hear it. When you speak, those who are around you will hear it. This is why they don't want no smoke with you. This is why they don't want no problem with you. Why? Because you have a powerful voice. You have a voice spiritually. You have a voice, you know, uh, uh, mentally. You have a voice emotionally. All right. You have a voice. Okay. Uh, in all aspects, y'all. Right. You, just, you have that type of voice. OK, even physically, y'all like when you speak, people feel you, people hear you. It's like you don't have to scream. You know, y'all, you got them type of people who have to scream to get people attention. But when you speak, it's almost like it's a shiver in the room. Y'all, when you speak, you know, people are not even expecting for you to say the things that you're going to say, because it's like your words are so piercing and your voice carries and people, you know, they hear your voice. But see, not even just physically, y'all see the type of voice you have is when it travels, whatever you say, it means something. So people spread it throughout the room. People spread it. So which means you don't even have to have a voice that carries. You can have that, right? Because we had people like Martin Luther King. He had a great voice, y'all. Like a uh, physical voice. Um, Malcolm X had a great voice as well. So you got strong voices. Don't get that wrong, y'all. But also, what about the one that is metaphorical? The voice that just carry because of who you are. The voice that, you know, people hear because you said something. Anybody could have said the same thing that you said, but just because... You have that spiritual voice, that voice that God has given you, that power of influence, the gift. People going to hear your voice. Therefore, they're going to move cautiously around you. 
right? This is why when you say something, it means 10 times more than the person over here. Why do y'all think that celebrities have so much responsibility? See, to whom much is given, much is required. You thought that you were just going to get this platform and you don't got no responsibility? <laughs> Maybe in a perfect world, but not in this world right here. Oh, no. Listen, if you get something, you're going to have to take accountability and responsibility of that something. Bruno, what are you saying right now? The power of a voice is enormous right and this is why you have to maintain the voice you got to cure the voice you have to make sure that the voice is you know sustained take care of the voice just like your home because again when you have people who are on platforms and people who are celebrities and famous and they're just taking their voice for granted these people were made famous for no reason they're actually working for the devil because why would you promote destruction why would you market you know sexual content like people got to understand that the power of a voice can truly be the difference between life and death the voice do y'all understand and this is the last thing i'm gonna say y'all do you understand that beyonce can tell someone right to kill themselves and they're going to do it do y'all realize that she can make a tweet an instagram or whatever the case is y'all and post it and say i'm taking myself out she could pull a jim jones say i'm taking myself out and i think that my followers should do it too do you understand that her voice is so powerful that somebody is gonna do it so that's why I say, y'all, yes, a physical voice is also powerful and it will cause your enemies to move cautiously. But I'm also talking about that metaphorical voice, y'all, that spiritual voice, the voice that when you say something, it don't matter if it's a whisper. It's so powerful that it moves mountains. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I have a powerful voice. That's what I mean. Number three, to maintain the perfect image. OK. To maintain a perfect image, y'all. This right here is funny. It's kind of comical, y'all, because a lot of people do this. You know, whenever you see your boss at your job, you, you know, you suit and tie, you talking proper, shaking hands, you know, hey, what's going on, Bob? You over here just acting as if you are a perfect being, right? And as soon as you get around Keisha and Lil Charge them, you know, you talk, ah, oh, man, forget the boss. I ain't even stunned here, man. I'm about to go smoke me a blunt. Yeah. So you got to maintain that image because you need something from him. You need that job. Oh, yeah, you, you, you need them hours. They can't get cut. Yep, you got Lil Boom Boom in the room, and he, he won his bottle. So what I'm saying, y'all, is this right here. They want to maintain a perfect image in your eyes. So they move cautiously. But remember what I say, y'all. Bad people do good things to keep a good image. Why did you do this good deed for me? Why did you help me out? Why did you assist me? You know, y'all, it even shows on the movies, and I'll be more specific, prison movies, like when a person go in, you know, um, I'm not going to say they be extra nice, but they're trying to be extra loyal, right? Because prison is the last place where you want to be, you know, a good guy at, right? Hey, guys, I'm trying to be a good guy. No, that's how you're going to get raped, beat, stabbed or something. Okay, you got to go in there and be your own man, right? And obviously, I'm not promoting prison because prison is whack, okay? Shout out to the people who are in there, and I'm sure they're going to get themselves out and they are changing their mindset, but I'm not promoting prison. What I'm saying, y'all, is this right here. Um, on the movies, this is according to the movies. When they are promoting prison in the movies, they show how a person is trying to earn some loyalty to the top dog. They're trying to gain some brownie points to the top dog. Why? Because they know that the top dog got the resources that they need. Connection to the money. Connection to the power. Connections to certain women the resources so 
It's not that they love the top dog oh so much. This is the way of life in prison. I got to maintain this good image to, you know, Bubba over here. So Bubba can have me protected and connected. Are y'all following what I'm saying? But see, he ain't really Bubba's friend. He just want the protection that it come with. He want the resources that it come with. So he's doing loyal things to maintain a perfect image in front of Bubba. So understand what I'm saying, y'all. It's the same thing with your enemies. Big facts. Your enemies are moving cautiously. They need you to see them in a certain light. Therefore, they are hoping that you, you know, react and respond and connect with them differently from everybody else. But just be mindful. Somebody drop in the comments and say, be aware. Because again, bad people do good things to keep a good image. Follow what I'm saying, y'all? Drop in the comments and let me know. Number four, y'all, it's going to be this. They're attempting to confuse you. All right? Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. They are attempting to confuse you. In other words, they're trying to throw you off. And so I wrote this in order, y'all, because while a person is trying to maintain a perfect image, what it does is it throws you off. I was just watching another movie, y'all. It was on Netflix. It has Jamie Foxx in it. It's called Robin Hood, right? It's called Robin Hood, where um, they were shooting them air, uh, them bow and arrows, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And what happened was the guy who lost some people on his side, he was so hurt, he was devastated to where um, he said, I'm going to befriend them. And I'm going to infiltrate, right? Y'all already know, y'all. Ships do not sink from the water around the boat. They sink from the water they get in. So what did he do? He infiltrated. He got close to those who were the top dogs, right? The ones who was at the big table. And he found a way to pull up a chair at the big table. Man. And so what he did was he threw them off. By being extra loyal, extra nice, right? You know, uh, overly uh, compensative, you know, just trying to prove his loyalty to these people or the big dogs at the big table. And it worked. He confused them. He threw them off. And to the end of the movie, they realized that, oh, ah, this was all a revenge move. But this is the point, y'all. People will try to throw you off consistently, confuse you consistently by doing good things, but really they got a bad hand. By doing good deeds, but really they have bad intentions. But this is what throws people off. People consistently confusing you with doing good deeds, but you wonder why they energy off. Classic manipulation and gaslighting. Classic manipulation, y'all. All right, so be mindful of those who are doing good deeds, but really they have a bad hand. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? Drop in the comments and let me know. All right, but number five, y'all, it's gonna be this they keep a low profile, okay? They keep a low profile. Family, as y'all probably know, I probably said this a hundred times, but I used to work at McDonald's, you know, and when the, the lower a profile that you have, you know, the more you'll probably be able to slide by. And what I mean by slide by is stealing hamburgers, McDoubles, double cheeseburgers, you know, um, stealing stuff out the freezer, taking it home because you low key. People are not really paying attention to you like that. And I've seen some of the most quietest people walk out of McDonald's with a bag of McChicken Nuggets. Now, this may sound funny, y'all. But who is going to expect the quietest person to be stealing their chicken nuggets? I'm just being honest. So they kept their low profile because they know the more they speak up, the louder they are, the more people are who, who know about their business. What happens? It makes you a, it makes you more high key, right? Oh man, man, what Ray Ray got going on? Eyes are on you. You are up under the spotlight, literally. So when you keep a low profile Or in this case The reason why your enemies have a low profile Is because they want to move cautiously around you Because whatever they are plotting up They don't want you to figure it out 
Simple as that, y'all. They keep a low profile. They stay low key. Because they know the louder I am, the more attention I get, and I don't need that. Make sense, y'all? Think of it. Thieves, they try to be, I would say good thieves, because you got some crazy thieves these days, y'all. People are telling on themselves on Instagram and TikTok. But the smart, the smart thieves, they keep a low key. They keep a low profile. You know, they're not on social media. They're not everywhere to where they are visible. And see, the enemies of you who are smart, they're going to keep a low profile. So just be mindful of that, y'all. But without beating a dead horse, we're going to go ahead and do a recap and then we'll conclude this video. So number one, y'all, they know how dangerous you are. Okay. Number two, the power of your voice. Number three, to maintain a perfect image. Number four, they're attempting to confuse you. And number five, y'all, they have a low profile. All right. So with that being said, family, y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of those Yes Sir t-shirts, a Rich Mentality t-shirt, um, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, enroll into my social influence course, or purchase any one of my books, you can do so by hitting the link in my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality